No, should have been longer. There should have been another overhang on top of this one and it would have made it better. No, this was, this was all good. It was definitely, uh, it was a cool boulder. That's what it was. It was a pretty cool V5 boulder, I would call it. So I'm pretty happy. It's a cool route. I'd definitely recommend it if somebody's uh, pushing these grades and uh, it's pretty good in the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Director Joel. You gotta laugh on the shot, you gotta keep my laughter in. So how are you feeling now? Yeah. Nervous, very nervous. But I know I, I know I can do it, that's why I'm nervous. I'm not nervous because of falling or being scared or anything, I'm just nervous because I know I might fail.
my God. <laughs> Finally. Oh my God. Oh, yes. So, Chris, tell us about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Just, um, just put down total in Dad's car. I worked on this route maybe a year and a half ago. Um, shouldn't have been on the route. Um, I managed to make like the first couple of moves and then got into this overhanging section and realized well, how hard it really was. Uh, and then I've kind of stayed clear of really hard routes for the last probably three months outdoors. Um, I've just focused on uh, footwork and technique and uh, doing 23s and some 24s uh, and then all the other lower grades in between um, yeah and then today was my project day so um, the other walls are pretty busy I was gonna do a 25 but instead decided to skip the 25 and uh, give total in dad's car a go um, believed I was stronger uh, was a year and a half ago stronger lighter uh, definitely more finger strength um, took me uh, about 15-20 minutes to work the route and then it took me about three attempts after that a few falls on this uh, first overhanging sequence uh, just I uh, just have to keep a lot of core tension whilst you're moving on tiny finger pockets um, as you come up into the roof uh, there's some really small pockets that you have to move from um, I use the right hand side to come uh, around and decided I was going to clip the second drawer from above uh, where there was a more positive hold. Could have clipped the drawer from the uh, hold next to it, but decided I would go one move further to clip that second drawer, which is definitely the crux. From there, you're pretty much home free. You make a fairly big move up to a jug, uh, and then another high move, make that last drawer, uh, and then off to the anchors, just over the lip. So really, this, this climb here is probably a two or three move wonder. Um, but they're hard moves on tiny pockets. Um, great route though, really enjoyed it. As you were trying this route, you noticed that there was a bolt missing. Uh, no, no, I noticed that it had been re-bolted from the first time. So um, they've actually, there's, there's a bolt over here where they've moved it up a little bit. They've definitely moved it into a better position. Um, where it was bolted previously, you would have been just slamming straight into that wall. Would have made the first drawer easier to clip, easier to put the drawer in and actually clip it, would stop you hitting the ground, but every fall you took, you would be just slamming into this wall, which would not be that much fun. <laughs> Any uh, advice? Yeah, don't jump on this one until you're ready, until you're strong, until you're light. If you're, if you're struggling in roofs, then this is probably not the climb for you. If you're pretty good in roofs and on small holds, holding all of your weight uh, with some good core tension, then you'll probably breeze it because like I said, it's a like a two move wonder. Do you feel like this was a true 26? Yes and no. Um, there was a lot of different ways to do it. I don't know, maybe I need to do more 26s. Maybe I need to do more higher grades before I can really say whether this was a true 26 or not. It was hard and, you know, like it was hard and it was powerful, but there's definitely other ones uh, like All or Nothing at Sheridan, which is, feels harder than this one. Um, different style of climbing, I think. More, gotta be more with the footwork, less with the pulling hard. As you can see, you tape your fingers up, you can pull as hard as you want. Hopefully it doesn't rip the tape and your skin off. So what was the crux? Uh, the crux was definitely moving through the roof, um, moving on the small holds. Uh, you come, first of all, you balance your way up the slab fairly easy. Um, and then just moving out onto the, onto the uh, overhang was definitely one of the hardest moves. Moving out onto it, but when I actually did it, it felt easy. So I just kept close into the wall and pulled fairly hard on the pockets to stay close. And that allowed me further distance for the next few holds. Um, and then not hesitating. I think the crux would be if you hesitate and you don't do the big move, 
and you're probably going to find it a little bit harder. I knew on this I had to go pretty fast to stay on the wall. I've now got no power at all. 